Okay, we're rolling. So we'll edit this first little part here. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this quick little kind of testimonial interview with uh, one of my past clients who loved it so much, she then became part of the team. Trish, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I appreciate it. Aloha, Manny. It's been long overdue and my pleasure. Yeah, fantastic. So let's just jump right in. Um, let's talk a little bit about like, I, I like to kind of go before, during, and after. Um, what was going on with you before you had some of the coaching that I know you're very happy with because it actually wound up with you being part of the team. So what was going on with you before that you needed to change? Before, what I needed to change was I had absolutely no ability whatsoever to tell a congruent story. Mm -hmm. People were consistently telling me, like, I don't know what you're talking about. Where are you coming from with this? Yeah. I don't understand how to, to follow you with that. And it, it was massively impacting myself to the point where it didn't matter how much I worked. I made no sales. <laughs> it was by luck that someone would be like, I know you can do this. You can't really tell me what you're doing, but let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I find that that's, that's more common than people think, or maybe than they're aware of. Um, having a, a focused, an ability to communicate a focused, distilled message is really important. And so, um, now you've you sort of were a client twice before you were part of the team. First was with an actual storytelling course, but I want to talk more about the the what I think of as like the the immediate results based part of it, where with just one of the strategies, which I guess will sort of be tantalizing, and we won't tell them what the strategy is because let's face it, you guys, we want you to sign up and, and do the work with us. Um, but what happened when you started implementing that strategy? Within one day, well now granted, it's worth noting that I had already cleaned up my audience, so to speak. Yeah. So I had a very carefully curated set of, at the time, 30 people <laughs> um, that was, you know, part of my longtime colleagues, friends, past clients and you know things in in that regard mm -hmm. but within one day i had people from that group going oh my gosh i need to work with you wow. and starting conversations and then within one week i started having sales calls where they're like okay it's not now but i need you and as soon as i get there i'll be back and yes there's there's been continued conversations from there they've absolutely stayed in touch they've absolutely been a continued relationship. It's not like so many times you often end up having a sales conversation with someone and they go, yeah, 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 I'm really interested, really interested. And then they ghost you. Yeah. It's not that. They are in my, my inbox every single day. We're having casual conversations, professional conversations, mm -hmm. updates on the business conversations. And the, the sales in those, in those aspects are moving. And when it comes to in person, in now, this is ex exactly what happened is that somebody had seen what I was doing online and I was able to make a, a new client in one sitting. Yeah. So that's the thing that is kind of cool about you to me is um, that you're like, it's, it's kind of easy to get typical results, testimonials, but yours are very atypical. Like for one thing, you had a 30 person sort of focused audience. And so, um, and you wound up getting work from from that in a in a little bit of a less direct way, but it happened in like what two weeks or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was about ten days. So that is so cool. I just love that. <laughs> um, what I'm curious about, because I think this is really important for people to understand, is like, what are the internal differences that you feel? Oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, the internal differences are massive. Because before I was constantly worried about the future. How am I going to make this happen? How am I going to get this to function? What am I going to do? What am I supposed to be doing? There were so many questions. Yeah. And what's interesting now, you know, those questions used to stress me out. Mm 
-hmm. Now those questions drive me and it's, I'm so calm with those questions. For instance, I recently had a client negotiation just in fact today. Mm -hmm. I had a a client renegotiation with a billionaire. I mean, gosh, you know, it's nobody really important. (laughs) And, uh, you know, it's somebody who's had uh, six seasons on national television, really, really important celebrity of sorts. Okay. And, you know, when before we had worked together, I would have, I, I wouldn't have even thought that I could work with this sort of person. Yeah. Here I am today. And it was last Friday, I said to him, I don't have the answers. I need to ask you more questions first. Total confidence, total cool. Let it sit there on the table. Yeah. And then today I have the meeting. And in one hour, we go from, I have, you know, I have questions to here's a suggestion to we finalize the meeting in one hour saying, okay, we absolutely have to talk tomorrow and nail this down. Um, So the difference is, total confidence, total calm. Yeah. I've actually recently run an event, which I've never done before. And I ran an event and people were walking up to me after the fact going, that went so smooth. And the thing that impresses me so much is that it doesn't matter what storm comes your way. You're just cool, calm, happy, collected. Yeah. That is a tremendous difference from before we worked together to now. That's awesome. And do you think that you are are perceived differently in the marketplace because you've put some time and energy into what I would call clarifying and putting your your sort of brand position out there? Definitely. Because like I mentioned before, I'm able to have a sit down meeting with somebody, Mm -hmm. show them my profile, show them what I'm doing in, in the different forms of of social media that I'm working in Mm -hmm. and they go, Oh yeah, we got to work together. Like now. I think that that that's, what's really exciting. And that's what people maybe don't realize is your social media more and more is becoming what your resume was 10 years ago. Right. Yes. And so this idea of really focusing on your personal brand is a short midterm and long-term strategy. And you can do it all with the one set of, of actions. Like you don't have to do different things for short term and long term and middle term. It all gets supported by the same focus. Yes, it, it, it's absolutely about having a, a rhythm. Mm-hmm. And you just do that same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. And it, it becomes very easy. We, when we first started working together, I couldn't imagine myself doing videos on a daily basis. Right Now I do them and it's okay. Time to do the video. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, That's how I am too. I mean, the truth is I I got a a pretty good following from thoughtful posts, from the occasional video, um, et cetera, et cetera. But but I resisted. I resisted just sort of almost it's like I resisted going back to being a beginner. But I got so good so quick, which is what happens to everyone who commits to it. You know, the, the part where you just are no good at it is very, very short. It's much shorter than we think it's going to be. And then the payoff is insane. Yeah, I've only been doing this for six weeks now, mm-hmm. really. And it's completely life-changing, completely. And, and well, I mean, I, I will admit, a large part of it is making sure you're talking to the right people. Of course, yeah. So here's a total softball question. Uh, Would you recommend this to anybody watching? (laughs) (laughs) I would absolutely say that it is foolish not to be utilizing what works now. And this works now. Oh, I would recommend this. I recommend this all the time. I've already referred people to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, Like this is, yeah, absolutely. No doubt. Staked my reputation on it. (laughs) Yeah, I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much. That's... um, it's been great. And I, I hope that you guys are paying attention because if somebody likes the, the work and the ideas so much that they could then come to work for me, I feel like that in a way kind of says it all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, Trish. Thank you so much, Manny, for everything. <laughs>